Hey, how y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere, but on your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. No bias talk, no racism at all on this channel. Just real deal boxing content, opinions of mine. You understand me? Got to go and talk about this fight. Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G. The trilogy is going down. One of the biggest fights coming out right now. Got to give respect to both of these fighters, Canelo Alvarez and Triple G, for giving us this entertainment. Finna give y'all my reasons on why Triple G will beat Canelo Alvarez. Okay, he gonna win. All right, and I'm finna tell y'all why. Number one, this is gonna be a short video fast. My phone, you know. One, Canelo has no confidence right now. Canelo is coming off a loss. He is not the same fighter he was uh, coming into those other fights with Triple G. He was coming in off victories fighting Triple G, so his confidence was high. His confidence going to be low now. He just lost to Belleville. He was embarrassed. You know, he's supposed to have the throne, and now he just, really, he's looking like a regular fighter. But since ESPN going to try to keep him as the most, you know, uh, pound for pound fighter, let them do that, but we all know he's not. But Canelo confidence is low. He is not the same fighter right now. That's one reason I'm going for it. Triple G, the sec the second reason, Triple G has a chance to prove to the world that Canelo never beat him. This is this is Triple G's fight to redeem himself and show the public that Canelo never beat him and that those judges was wrong every time. Uh, that's why I'm going for Triple G in the second fight as well. This is his chance to prove that Canelo can uh that you can pour Canelo, you can melt Canelo down and pour him on Triple G. Okay, uh, three, Canelo gassed out, and Canelo gasses out, and he gassed out in his last fight. Now, people gonna get mad at me for saying this, but we all know that Canelo is a steroid user, or he was allegedly accused of steroids uh, from eating meat. Uh, <clears throat> and the last fight with Bilbo, he gassed out. Me, personally, I think it's because he wasn't on steroids. If you go back and you watch all his fights on his rise to Undisputed, Canelo never lost stamina. And I believe he was juiced the hell up the whole time. Now when he gets into this fight with Triple G, which he won't risk getting caught with no steroids in his system because he did it in the second fight and got busted. So he's going to be the same fighter, average fighter that he was against Bilbo. Canelo's going to gas out, in my opinion. That's the third reason I'm going for Triple G. The fourth reason, Canelo has had, I mean, Triple G has had more time to prepare for Canelo. Triple G last fight was Morata. Canelo just got beat by Bill. So he had the opportunity to train and watch tape and do more to beat Canelo Alvarez. The third, th the other thing that I just was thinking about earlier, trainers. Uh, Abel Sanchez never boxed a day in his life. Now he has a boxing trainer that's over there that has actually been in the ring. Um, Eddie Reynoso is not a great trainer. His father was an actor. His father was an actor. You can look that up. His father was an actor, probably got a gym. They just got good fighters. Eddie Reynoso can't teach nobody how to box and prove that. What fighter have you seen him work from the ground up that's a champion? Yeah. That's the other reason I'm going for Triple G in this fight, the trainers. Um, Canelo said, if you look at the press conference, you watch the demeanor of fighters. I heard Evander Holyfield say this about Mike Tyson when he fought him twice. He said every time he got in the ring and he was finna fight Mike Tyson, he looked straight at Mike Tyson from across the ring and Mike Tyson looked like he didn't want to be there. And I've seen this happen in boxing matches where the fighter who looked like they don't want to be in there lose. Prime example, go check out Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 and look at Tyson Fury face and look at Deontay Wilder face while they call and announcing them. They can't mess me when it comes to this boxing, y'all. I've been watching it too long. Uh, what else? Triple G to win this fight also he needs to throw body shots he don't throw body shots hopefully hopefully this new trainer which I seen him a rider fight he still wasn't really throwing body shots but he will be a lot more effective against Canelo slowing him down with body shots and the best way to beat Canelo Alvarez is not throwing hooks he's very defensive he can shoot he can move all that no you beat Canelo Alvarez with straight punches like Bilbo did you ain't got to throw no hooks. Straight punches beats Canelo Alvarez, okay? I'm not a Canelo Alvarez hater. Salute to my Mexican brothers and sisters out there. This is real deal boxing opinion right here. I'm going for Triple G. I'm betting for Triple G. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not being biased because I'm betting for Triple G. I let it down. I pros, cons, or who could win this fight, and everything to me came out to Triple G. All right? It came out of Triple G. I have nothing against them, but like I said, losing confidence down uh, Triple G this is his chance to prove that Canelo will never beat him Canelo gasses out especially if he ain't roared it up uh, Triple G had more time to prepare and the trainers 
trainer, Triple G trainer, never boxed, Abel Sanchez. Now he has a trainer that knows about boxing, actually boxed. Canelo's trainer don't know nothing about boxing because he never trained a champion fighter in his life from the ground up. And his daddy didn't know nothing about boxing either because his daddy was an actor who probably just had some money and bought a boxing gym. And that's just the truth of it. Now, I thank y'all for tuning in. I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. If you want to support the channel, y'all know where to go out and told you. You know, I thank you for that. And uh, that's what I'm going for. Triple G got this fight, y'all, by the unanimous decision. <clears throat> I don't think he's going to be able to knock no Canelo out. But uh, I think he's going to win on the cards. I think he's going to win on the cards, y'all. And people keep talking about the age of Triple G. Y'all act like Canelo ain't got old either. You know what I'm saying? Canelo didn't stay 26 or 28, whatever time you probably fought him the first time. He's aged too, okay? And that's my reasons on who's going to win the fight. I thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Stay tuned, all right?